Hello guys, this is Rich. In this video, I'll show you the best VST plugins I use for beat production. And there are five of them. So let's get to the first one. And the first one is a heat up free. I use it all the time because this plugin is really perfect for rap or trap beats production because it has all the instruments you need for the production. So for instance, bells. You can play it right away. You have a lot of presets here and even 808s. Alright, so it's a really good plugin for music production. You just pick anything you need and you can tweak the options. Here are some reverb and delay and chorus. A lot of stuff to tweak. Also here is more. Like, it's really good, flexible plugin you can use with a lot of presets. I really recommend it. So let's get to the second one. And here it's Effect Plugin RC20, which make your sound uh, more retro. Here you, you can see several effects you can apply. Noise, wobble, distort, digital, space, magnetic. So those are pretty self-explained, except, mm, I guess, these two. Space make it reverb and magnetic make the sound more like magnetic tape. And here is EQ, uh, gain in, gain out, width. So here is really a lot of uh, useful stuff besides delay. Unfortunately, here is no delay. If you know good and simple plugin with delay, please let me know, because I really need uh, something good and flexible. Okay, so also here I use Heat Up Free and I wrote some melody. So let's check it out without the plugin. <laughs> And then with the plugin. So, here is a lot of presets as well you can apply, and you can make your own presets as I did. Uh, this only reverb preset I use all the time because I really love uh, the reverb in this plugin. So basically, it makes this unique, interesting sound with no effort, which I truly recommend. All right, let's get to the third one. And this one is a Looperator. Plugin pretty similar to FL Studio's Effectrix, but it's really good for beats production. And here I also have this melody with a heat up pre. Now it's a guitar. And now with this effect applied so you can see here uh, several what are those uh, layers or tracks with effects and you can pick uh, which effect you want to apply on uh, each track and you can modify it here and the, the main part is uh, those things which you apply on the bars of the track playing and in the end you get mixed track with this effect so here also uh, a lot of presets you can apply uh, which are sorted by folders for instance if you use like 
reverse folder here a lot of presets with this reverse effect so a lot of reverse will be applied to your track this one is a initial uh, layout but i tweaked it a little bit so the sound is more like bouncy which is perfect for trap beats let's check it out again and now without and now with So, it's also a really good plugin, which I always recommend. Okay. Fourth. It's a Sublab plugin. So, this plugin is for Subbase or Eduates. Here you have a lot of presets and a lot of control over your Eduates. So, you can see how many are there. For instance, this one will take. You can change all the settings right away and play it. Also, you have here distortion and compression in a case you need it. Okay, you also need to apply it actually. Okay, let's check out another one. You can change release and attack and anything you want basically. Change the distortion mode. Really a lot of stuff to play with and make your unique sound. You can also make your own presets and save them. Alright, and let's get to the final one. It's a half time. So this plugin makes your track half timed and it also speeds it up. Uh, so I don't really know how it works. I guess it's a lot of math about it, but it really sounds incredible. So here you have modes uh, which make it like two times slower, four times slower, or one and a half times slower. Here uh, it's a frequency which you won't apply this effect on, mix, which make it wet or dry, uh, how many bars you want to apply, this effect on and this one it makes it apply the effect only uh, for amount of time besides this amount of milliseconds it's like difficult to explain but i'll show you so initial melody again heat up free and now with the plugin And now this knob I mentioned. So in the end you can hear, in the end of the bar, uh, you can hear uh, original sound. I'll put it on uh, all frequencies so you can hear it better. So you can hear this uh, high pitch in the end of the bar. Okay, let's get it back. Put one and a half mode, and now it sounds really trappy and really good. And we can also apply our arrow weights right away and change the scale maybe another preset 
Yeah, why not? Yeah, and you can make trap beats easily with those plugins, which are essential for me. So I think I've shoved you enough. Thank you a lot for the watch and your attention, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.